Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun. What I believe will be the final part of the main series. This is episode number 60. 60 parts to do this. Bloody hell. Uh, anyway, in the last episode, we completed the Elite Four Challenge. We defeated all the Elite Four members. And now it's time to heal our bloody team. And think of who are we going to pick as our Pokemon to kick off um, our, our battle against the champion. Hmm. Well, it's an interesting thought, but I think I've already got my answer there. Let's be honest, because there's been one Pokemon that has been the most reliable out of any Pokemon, I'd say. This one's been more reliable than the rest. So, as we heal up our team and get ready, who's going to lead up front? It's not food. It's Darcy. Of course it's Darcy, our starter type, leader of the team. She's been brilliant to us. So, it's only fair for Darcy to be the, uh, our Pokemon up front for the champion battle. And with that, all four Elite Four uh, opponents have been defeated. And we can now be randomly teleported to the champion's domain. Who are we up against? Who's our champion? Who is the champion of the Alolan Pokemon League? Or maybe we're the first. I will just sit here on the throne. I am the champion. Hi, Kukui. Put me in the Hall of Fame, will you? Oh, yeah. Now you're the Pokemon League champion. Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? What do you mean I'm not a champion yet? Who is? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want to get that title. Oh no. And of course that trainer is me! Woo! Yeah. This is the kind of bullshit twist they give you, which is the professor is the champion. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll kick your ass. <coughs> I'll kick your bleeding ass, Kukui. One final hurrah for your island challenge. And a special tribute as you and this Pokemon League embark on a new path. Let's have a battle worthy of this moment. You really... Right, I'm, I'm going to absolutely destroy you for... Uh, making me get out of my chair. Git. All right. And it's time for Pokemon Professor Kukui, the champion battle. Ooh, I actually picked this very well, didn't I? All right, so he's got Lycanroc as his first Pokemon. Darcy, you can take Lycanroc all day. Level 57, so we're slightly lower leveled. Not by much, though. Ooh, and he's kicking off with Stealth Rock. Ah, we got a little, um, we got a little Smogon set here, mate. Because if it was a Smogon set, you should have switched, you dummy. You and your bleeding Smogon sets. All right, well, that Lycan Rock's out of the way, but those Stealth Rocks are going to get annoying. Magna Zone is next up. So Electric and Steel type. So, I mean, i got so many good Pokemon for that. I mean, Sweep's the best option, obviously. For a Pokemon that's, what, four times weak to Earth and Ground and Quakes. Essentially, the ground move, uh, the ground move, 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 ground move earthquake. Level 56 Magna Zone. Let us destroy it. Ooh, flash cannon. Nice. It's not going to do too much to sweep. Okay, I actually did more than I thought. Yeah, sweeps, uh, special defenses are not amazing. But with this, this should be another one shot right here. Sturdy, of course. Bloody sturdy has happened again. God damn it. Fine. I will get you to waste all of your full restores, mate. No, you withdraw it. Oh, no, not to a flying type. Okay. That's not a flying type. That is Decidueye, the final form of Rowlet. I don't mind that. I'll attack that. Oh, that is strong. All right. So Decidueye is a ghost and grass type. My best option here is probably to switch into Mandy. Yeah, Mandy's probably my best option here. 
There's not really much decision I can do, so I'm going to switch. Come on, Mandy. Yeah, he's going to take a bit of damage from uh, Stealth Rock. Oh, God. I think that's a dead Mandy. Okay, here comes the Z move. Bloom Doom. The grass type Z move. Bloom a Doom. Oh, no. Flowers. Oh, look at the lovely flowers. Ah! Beam of light! Oh, Mandy lived that pretty well, actually. Fair play, Mandy. Now, can you finish it off? Yes, you can. Mandy's actually faster than Decidueye. Brilliant. Yes. There we go. Decidueye is gone. You have a very weak Magna Zone as well in your team. So, uh, I've got a pretty good advantage here. Snorlax is coming in next. All right, Aaron. This is perfect for you. This is perfect for you. Go do it. Snorlax, high health, high special defense against a fighting type uh, physical attacker. Let's go for close combat. We are faster than Snorlax. That's good. Close combat. Yes! One shot the Snorlax. Take that, you. You still got a very weak Magnezone there. Do you want to bring him out? Do you want to bring him out to say hi? Probably not. Darth is up level 57. As much as what she needed. Braviary is next up. Well, that's food's territory, of course. This is a one-shot in the making. It is the power of bugs, electric bugs, versus the overwhelming force of Murka. So, uh, we'll see how well we do. All right. So, let's go for the Thunderbolt. This is a one-shot, I think. Tailwind. All right. You're boosting the speed of the, your fellow teammates. Fair play. Was it worth it, though? Yes, it was. You actually survived that. Fair play. There's the full restore. All right. You want to try and waste my Thunderbolts? You go right ahead. Because I will hit a max damage or a crit on one of these. Like there, for example. And you'd have wasted it. So there you go. Nice job, food. Now, right, what have you got next? You've got a Nine Tails. And Magnazone. That's all you've got. Th that you're only two Pokemon. All right, um, I, I guess I'll bring Aaron back out. Why not? Bit of fun. All right, Aaron. This is going to be a low than nine tails, isn't it? So it's going to be the fairy and ice type Pokemon. Yes, it is. Okay, so we both got a move that could actually super effectively hit the opponent. It's all about who blinks first. Dazzling Gleam, all right. It's Aaron who blinks first. Okay. All right, that's fine. That is fine. Um... Well, Mandy's a really good shout here. Mandy resists both of uh, your types, so... We should be alright. Oh, God, no, we're not. You've got to be faster here. You have to be faster, Mandy. No! Oh, and it, wait, it hit something like blizzards. Get out of here, sod. Alright. Oh, Tailwind, of course. God damn it. Bloody Tailwind. Alright, food, you're in. Because now that that's all gone, and food takes more bleed and damage, god damn it. Flash cannon's ready. Safeguard. Wrong move, mate. Wrong move. Flash cannon. Four times strong as you. And there goes Alolan Ninetales. Your last Pokemon is that weakened Magna Zone. That's all you've got left. Food's up level 57. More special attack. All that's left is that Magnazone. That's all you've got. And it's... It, it's got to be Darcy, surely. It has to be Darcy to finish it off. Come on out, Darcy. Alright. You're probably going to try and bloody full restore that thing, aren't you? More than likely. You're going to spend every single one of your full restores on that thing. Yep, there's one. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Darcy will finish you off. Sparkling Aria coming up. Take that, you sod. Oh, that did less damage than I wanted. Ugh. Don't like that. All right, let's go for another one. I am faster than it. That's good. Max damage would be nice. A crit would be nice. And I get neither. Ah, and you missed the T-Wave. Shadow Ball coming up. Another full restore. That's fine. Because I wonder if you've uh, seen my plan yet. Here's another Shadow Ball. Not much damage. 
That's what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for. You're not going to be able to do that again. Here's another sparkling aria for you. You've got low special defense now. Big damage! Knocks out the Magna Zone, and with that, we have become Pokemon League champions yet again. And sweep up to 57 as well. I couldn't win even though I went all out. What a refreshing feeling. Woo! You give me more money, you rich sod. Give me more money. Amazing! It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. Uh, May, I didn't use a single Z move throughout this entire playthrough. Not a single one! So that just proves how good Z moves are. Okay, they're actually pretty good, but you know. I want to give myself a bit of a challenge and not use Z moves. And it worked! We have won! And you just proved me right! Congrats, cousin! You're a champion we can all be proud of! I told you, didn't I? Up there on Mount Hokulani. Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best! I want everyone in the world to know that too! It's always been my dream! And right here, right now, it finally came true! And it's all thanks to you, Mastraff, you and your Primarina! Cheers, mate! Where's your Hall of Fame? I want to be the first person in your Hall of Fame! That's all I deserve! I'm so happy I got a battle with you and your and your team here. Right where my dreams came true. And now, Mastrath, first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. In the Hall of Fame. Yes, I am Alola's first ever champion. And here's my team. Darcy, the Primarina, level 57. Mandy the Salazzle, level 56. Aaron the Ugly Bastard Crabominable, level 56. Food the Special Attacking Beast, Vicar Vault, 57. Mortar, kinda useless, 56, but still I like you. And Sweep, always oh, bloody died, but was useful earlier, level 57. <coughs> and with that, come on, show my team. There you are. Congratulations, you are Alola's first ever champion. As we are surrounded by our team in the sky! In space, actually! Who'd have thought that? There you go! Victory for us! And victory... For us! A stamp has been given to us, and that's all that matters! We have a stamp! I got a stamp, by the way. Stamp. You've entered the Hall of Fame. Spectacular. Much as the sun shines upon the moon, illuminating it. So have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated your life. You have grown so much. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Mastrath? Yep. That's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. I've always been ready for rivals, damn it. The first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. Let's go celebrate so grandly that even the sun and moon themselves will take notice. Ha! Bring your own booze though, Halla. You ain't nicking any of mine. Alright, Mastrath. Let's bust a U-turn for Melly Melly Island. We're gonna have a big festival in Icky Town. Don't worry, I'll make. Sh I'll be sure to let Lily know too. Yeah, just don't let How know. That'd be great because I don't like him very much. Oh, invite Gladian too. He's cool. Just not How because he'd ruin it. I'm not sure how, but he'd ruin it. <laughs> I'm not sure how. <laughs> Didn't even think of that one. All right, we're back at Icky Town, and he is here as well. Hello. Kneel before your champion, bitch. Kneel! I thought he was actually going to there. Oh, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. 
Oh, we got all the, 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 the trial champions here, the trial masters there. Nice. And me, of course. And they transformed into the professor and his wife. Apparently. Oh, my mum's there. Okay, and the Meowth. Still not a Persian yet. Come on, mum, you're slacking. Turn it into Persian, damn it. Now. It's just everyone's here right now. Even Provo Pass. He doesn't give a shit. Yes, Mudsdale's here too, and Lily, and Hapu. But Mudsdale's here. Fire's here. That's the most important thing. Fire's here. And Laughter's here. Here he is. The first Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for celebration, so let's all get to it. I've got something to say. Don't nick my booze. Especially you, Provo Pass. I know what you're like. Oh, Gladian did turn up. Kind of. Kind of, I guess. Uh, he has to keep the Edgelord status, doesn't he? Come on, join in. Okay, he's not joining in. God damn it. Okay, now what? We're just getting... Yeah, we're just get every, get, we're getting everyone's lovely Z-poses. Even you! Even Nanu's there as well! Come on, join in on the fun! They, oh, okay, not if you're gonna smoke like that. He is gonna join in. Stop with that smoke, mate. It doesn't, like, no. If you can't do a proper smile, don't bother. That's why I don't do a proper smile. What's the point? My smiles look like weird and creepy, so I just don't bother. But the fireworks went on into the night, causing massive air pollution and waking every baby and making all dogs bark, including the legendary beasts of Johto of the Johto region. They are going nuts because of these fireworks in Alola. Even some toddlers have shown up and everyone's jumping around like nuts. <clears throat> Mousetrap, congratulations on becoming the champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here just to help you celebrate this achievement. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. And Nanu! He looked he kinda looked happy, I guess. It hasn't all been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Mastraff? No. It wasn't just meeting you, it was travelling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be part of that journey. Hey Mastraff! Looks like the party is going to keep on going for some time still, wouldn't you say? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the Ruins of Conflict? I heard that Kahuna Hala had, uh, that the bridge had been fixed. Uh, what about the festival? It's kind of my festival, isn't it? Really, Mastraff? We should go and, tapu and tell Tapu Koko properly how you, vis how you finished your island challenge. Do we really have to? Yes, we do! Because, you know, even even as the champion, we're still under the thumb of a non-Pokemon trainer. How bad is that? Let, let him enjoy his drink, damn it, Lily. Oh, we actually have a proper bridge now. Mahalo Trail Plank Bridge. Well, the bridge certainly is a plank. I'll say that much. Now, this really takes me back. Back then, I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now, it really was Sol Galeo. I mean, it was Nebby, who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Mastrath? Oh, yeah, that Pokemon that's still in the box, by the way. Come on, let's go. And we run. 
No Spearos this time. And they're still recovering, licking their wounds from the bitch slap that Tapu Koko gave them. Still like that. It's like, Whoop! Take that, Spiro. The Ruins of Conflict. Okay. Was expecting credits. No credits. The Ruins of Conflict. I still wonder why it is that Tapu Koko helped us that day. Was it because of the connection to Solgaleo? The, le 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 the legendary Pokemon of the Alola region? Might be, I don't know. Well, if this keeps going, this won't be the final part, will it? We're already up to 21 minutes, nearly. This reminds me of when Hapu became the Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart's pounding in my chest. Is it because of the Sacred Guardian? Is Tapu Koko here with us? More than likely, probably yes. Never mind. Let me guess, he'll turn up. Tapu will, Tapu Koko will turn up and then we'll catch him, probably. The great Tapu Koko. It was because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become Solgaleo. Please allow me to thank you on its behalf. Thank you so very, very much. It's your turn next, Mastrath. I want to see how you show your appreciation in the way that only a Lola's champion could. I know you can do this, Mastrath. I'll make sure your team is ready, too. Oh, God, we are probably actually going to be battling Tapu Koko here. Probably bloody are. All right. You reached out and touched the statue. You seem to hear a voice ringing in your head. As though it's coming from your Z-Ring. Oh, the thing I've never used. Oh, yeah. There's Tapu Koko. He's here. It is time. Time? Okay. Do you mind? Do you mind not attacking? I haven't got a Pokemon out yet. Wait. You sod. All right. It's Tapu Koko. We're actually bloody fighting Tapu Koko. What the hell? Level 60, Tapu Koko. Do you know what? I'm just Master Balling you. <laughs> Screw you, Tapu Koko. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just going to Master Ball you, if I can. Yeah, screw you. Screw you, mate! I'm having you! Yes! One! Two! Hooray! Oh, he got out of it. No, he didn't. Of course he didn't. It's a Master Ball. Now I, now you probably hated that, didn't you, <laughs> Tapu Koko? Well, there you go. We just caught ourselves an Island Guardian. Well, he ain't gonna be doing his Island Guardian duties anymore, is he? We got ourselves Tapu Koko. Yay! He's level sixty, so it's pretty bloody powerful. Fair play. And I've uh, registered a Land Spirit Pokemon, apparently. The Land Spirit Pokemon Tapu Koko, Electric and Fairy type. Uh, height 5 foot 11, weight 45.2 pounds. This guardian deity of Mele Mele is brimming with curiosity. It summons thunder clouds and stores their lightning inside its body. Yes, I will give a name to Tapu Koko. As it's a running tradition that all legendary Pokemon that I ever catch have really bad names, then all I've got to say is I'd rather have a bowl of Coco Pops. So there you go! You've got a bad name! Coco Pops? <laughs> Get into the box, Coco Pops. Go on. Get in the box. Get in the box, Coco Pops. Damn it. No. Oh. That spells out the letter Z or Z. A Z crystal clattered to the floor at your feet. You obtained Tapunium Z. Is that one specifically for Tapu Coco? I think it is, isn't it? Fair enough. Tapu Koko. I know it will aspire to ever greater heights at your side from now on, Mastrath. Lily, just like Solgaleo, it's going to be in the box. Forever! But I'm so glad we could come here. It had been weighing on my heart. Come on, Mastrath, we should get back to the village. If we don't return soon, everyone will realise that we slipped away from the festival. 
Yeah, and I slipped away from my own celebration. So seriously, we did all that just to catch... By the way, your Island Guardian is now mine! Oh, we're having a battle here. Is it like Mudsdale versus Taurus versus Promo Pass? If that's the case, I bet in my house on Mudsdale to win that one. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun that I don't think they noticed. They even noticed we left. All that you now have caught their Island Guardian. Oh, and the Battle Royals are about to begin. Oh, well, there you go. It is the Kool-Aid Luchador. Yeah, Hapu's winning this. Hapu is winning this. Mudsdale is winning this. You've got me out on your team. No, that's not happening. That's not working. Everyone have a laughing fit and happiness. Why not? Anything else at all? Just having a bit of a laugh. A bit of a laugh, bit of a cheer. Had this for about a minute now. Fire! Do we really have to have so much, like, cutscene on the celebration? I have seen Acerola and Howe dancing, like, three- or jumping around, like, three times in this. Three times. Only needed to see it maybe once. <laughs> well, you're asleep. <laughs> well, there you go. He's been tack- uh, At least we know who stole my booze. It's him. He's passed out because of it. It's a beautiful event, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you'll always stay just the way you are now, Mastrath. Look how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I think even my mother would have smiled and laughed to see this if she could have come. I think my mother is getting better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. But she needed someone to scold her. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What it is that I can do. Uh... Mastrath, I'm going to... Did we get a fancied teaser that Lily, like, really likes me? Probably! Definitely. But of course, you can't have a main character without him being oblivious as hell! Can cannot have a main character without them being so bloody oblivious. And the cutscene is still going on! Look at this! Everybody's so fired up! Woo! We've got the birth of a load of strongest ever trained to celebrate after all! And I'm gonna keep training with Lima for a while, and then... I'm gonna beat my Gramps for real at last! And then... I'm coming for you, Champion Mastrath! Yeah, I'll, I'll be level 100 before you even get there. Way before you get there. Mastrath! Sorry, I mean champion! I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too! Come on, show us those partners that were there for so many more of your discoveries, new experiences, and adventures on your island challenge! And everyone's waving again. Yep, ready for this cutscene to end, I am! Ready for this to end! Nearly half an hour! Ready for this to end! Ready for this to end! But of course, we've got to have our mum say something as well. Mm-hmm, you're positively glowing. Alright, go on, show off my team. There they are. Am I going to get credits now? Or am I going to have to split this into two parts? One part where nothing happens! We're getting credits. Right, well! It's gonna be like a 40 minute video this one, isn't it? Ah, sod it, it's the, it's the end of the playthrough, finger quotes. 
We know what these Pokemon games do. We know, we know what these Pokemon Let's Plays are like from me at this point. There's going to be some extras, aren't there? There's going to be some bonus episodes. Anyway, and so Master Ass Island Challenge came to an end. The festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first champion lasted late into the night. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to meet you all. These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. This isn't us writing this. Who is it, I wonder? The next day! Do we actually even get... I don't even think we actually even get credits. No, because we're immediately thrust into the post-game. Jesus. Well... I guess I'm going to have to call it a break here then. We're up to bleed in half an hour. I have to call it a break at some point. So folks, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Pokemon Sun. Unless the credits are right next. Then I'll keep going. Um, but yeah, bonus episodes. I'll see you then.